What is up guys, it's Awana Turtle and today we're doing a Magic the Gathering opening. We are opening up a fat pack from back in Journey into Nyx and I don't know off the top of my head when this set came out. Uh, however, this was the figure this was appropriate as you know, War of the Spark, we're honestly waiting for our boxes still. Um, however, the God cards have kind of been reduced, and I never got to try to pull any of the ones from this set. So I figured we'll jump into this. There was a sale uh, on one of the websites that I do purchase sealed, sealed products, and so I grabbed a box. And so there's some really good God cards, as well as even some uh, pretty good rares, and there's two really good ones. Um, dictate of like Airbus or something as well as the Mana Confluence and I always like to have these boxes and uh, it's cool to have an older one as well and this one does come with some deck boxes as well which is pretty cool uh, when to pick oh, I didn't know that they do that is this nine packs okay five and five and four I guess oh, I've never Never opened one of these fat packs, so didn't know they'd do it like that. This guy back here. Nowadays, I'm actually super cautious. Um, not sure if the videos will be uploaded at different times, but I did just ex have a situation with some tampered with products. Luckily, it was super obvious, but something to keep an eye out for. And the good thing is, like, if you're if you're unsure whether or not something might have been tampered with, uh, the good news is, you know, something like this where a lot of people have opened it probably in the past, you can just go check out some older videos and see. So, for example, like this one, I'll just see if this was packaged in this fashion. Kind of just cut into the pack, but it's okay. I'm going to open them anyway. All right. So let's get into this opening. We have our land pack, which we don't really care about. Pretty cool die. And nine packs of Journey into Nyx. This weird rule booklet. Alright, let's pull some guide cards, get a mana confluence. Alright, we'll go slow, or we'll hit all the cards just because I'm definitely not familiar with all these. We got a Cloak Siren, Lightning Diadem, Market Festival, Rotted Hulk, Thassa's Devourer, Desecration Plague. Link Speaker's Will, Cast in Darkness, Swift Claw. We have a Sky Spear Calvary, Tormented Thoughts, Nyx Weaver, and then a Dictate of Crufix. So if you guys enjoy this and uh, you know like like Journey of Nyx, I feel like it wasn't a very popular time, uh, but if you feel like you like any of these cards, let me know by hitting that like button down below. It does help the channel grow. And uh, yeah, subscribe for future content. We are going to be getting our War of the Spark boxes very soon and really excited about that. We'll definitely be opening a bunch of that in the near future. Alright, so we got a Golden Hide Ox, Reprisal, a Spire Spine, and then a Skybind. I don't think that's a very good one either. All right, two dud packs. When it comes to these kind of uh, things, I feel like just shooting for one mythic um, is the threshold for. All right, that was that was good enough. And I think we can go through the kind of start at the uncommons. We got a chariot of victory, Kiora's dismissal, Sol solidarity of heroes, and then ooh, nice crucifix. God of Horizons. Very nice. So let's see. These are the ones that you kind of need the devotion. So they come out as indestructible. And as long as devotion green or blue is less than seven. So basically you need that uh, seven devotion, which basically means green or blue. Like this counts as one green, one blue. Um, you have no maximum size hands. If unused empty would empty from your mana pool, that mana becomes colorless instead. Unused mana. I'm not really sure what that means, but ooh, and a foil common. Very nice. So we did get a god pole. I believe uh, I've heard rumors that there's such thing as god packs. I can't remember if that means that they all the packs on the 
all the cards in the pack are gods or mythics or foil or whatever um, but in, but however it's very unlikely heard the ratio of one per every 60 boxes which is absolutely insane and so for our next pack we have a battlefield ther thermaturge I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly that came out weird all right so we did get our mythic so as far as the pull ratios go I'm happy with that that probably wasn't one of the big one I think the big one I don't remember his name but I think it was a three drop so it was much easier to cast a relic of abandon and to be honest I don't really understand what that one did knowledge of power and doom wake giant I think I've pulled this one before just um back in the day I just pick up random packs every once in a while whenever doom doom wake giant or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control creatures your opponent control get minus one minus one till end of turn hmm that doesn't sound very good. All right, we got Tormented Thoughts, Chariot of Victory. I feel like we're getting a lot of the dupes on the uncommon slot. And then a Dictate of Kama Metra, Kara Metra, and then a Foil of Warwing Siren. Three packs left. Hmm. So when I'm thinking about like as far as the bundles versus the fat packs, for an additional one pack, you lose out on the boxes. Yeah, and that's about it. This rule thing doesn't mean anything. So I guess uh, they become a little bit better when they turn into bundles. A brain maggot that is absolutely terrifying, and then a King Makar the Gold Cursed. Two packs left. Come on, let's get one more good card. Or one of those one of those big rares would be great too. Alright, here we go. Colossal Heroics. Reviving Melody. This purple, like when it's just like a, a black card, but it's purple. It's kinda weird. I just feel like these are like the Nyx cards. And then what the heck? Are you kidding me? On the off chance, unless that card is actually really good, like I highly doubt it though, for a eh, four drop. But if it's a four drop, I feel like I would have heard of it if it was a good one. All right, Tower Archer, Gold Forge Sentinel for six. You got a four four flying artifact. Thassa's Ire, and then for our last pack, we have a Harness by Force. Okay, so ah, we did get one God card. The God of the Horizons. Let's just double check this again. So if you have seven devotion um, for green and blue, this becomes a creature. So then it's a four seven indestructible. You have no maximum hand size. If unused mana would empty from your mana pool, that mana becomes colorless instead. Why does that help? Unused mana would empty from your unless it just unless it means it just stays there. I don't understand what this card does, but um. Yeah, we got a guard card. I guess that's what that's what our goal was. We just didn't get the one we were looking for. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure if we'll do another one of these. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, definitely hit that like button and uh, subscribe for future content if you're not already. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.